What's going on everybody? Thank you for coming back to another broadcast over here at Dallas Network. Now really quick guys, I'm going to post an article in the description for you guys to read. Um, it's just recently come out within the last hour. And also President Trump has already fired back. And what we're going to talk about is Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift is doing what she does best. She's doing a breakup. And when I say, you know, she's doing a breakup guys, I'm not being all, you know... Uh, TMZ here, you know, prying into her personal life, like, oh my god, she's breaking up with someone else. Honestly, I could care fucking less. But she basically breaks up with all her conservative fans. And the liberal media is going crazy over it. They're applauding her and all this. Um, she backed a a, uh, a representative in Tennessee, I believe it said. And she, the reason why she's not backing the one was because of how they stood on Kavanaugh, uh, the one that she's going against actually supported Kavanaugh, and she's saying that they're not liberal enough for her. So, again, guys, Taylor Swift trying to be relevant again in the politic world. Um, me personally, I don't think you know any superstar that's you know using their fame to sway politic uh, views is just bad juju in my book. Um, you know, there's a difference between personal career. And politics, and you should probably keep politics out of your personal career. You know, if you're trying to be famous, you know, put all that different shit, that stuff that could actually divide your fan base, and put it all to the side. You're there for the love of the music, for the love of the fans. Um, again, most of you guys know that I created a gaming channel, and the gaming community alone is so diverse. I mean, it's between, you know, Republicans, liberals uh lgbt community um pro-life anti-life you know it's so well diverse in everyday society but the one thing that gets us all together is the fact that we all love video games and we keep all that per that all, all those opinions shit off to the side so again this is the same as like eminem i grew up listening to eminem i loved eminem and i still continue to listen to him but I'm not going to his shows, I'm not, you know, not spending money on his product, only because he wants to get political, you know, he wants to throw his, he, he wants to use his fame as a train to try to persuade his fans to uh, vote a certain way, and I, I don't agree with that, and then also, I seen, I believe it was yesterday or the day before, Alyssa Milano, she was on CNN, if you guys remember during the, te uh, when Kavanaugh was testifying, you know, the same day as Christine Blasey Ford, you seen Alyssa Milano back there, and a lot of us were like, what the hell is she doing back there? Well, first of all, she comes up on CNN, and of course, CNN being, you know, your liberal media, you know, they want to start, you know, crying about his temperament and him drinking and stuff like that. And the only thing I can think of is like, Alyssa Milano, you are so irrelevant right now. I haven't seen you on TV since I was like 14. With that show Charmed. Y'all remember that? You you know, she was like a teenage boy's wet dream. But now she is so irrelevant, guys. She's almost like a used up Storm Stormy Daniels. Um, so, again, I don't agree with it. Um, I'll post the link in the description for the Taylor Swift thing. I know I'm I'm very lacking a lot of the information that's in it, guys. I just woke up. I just read it. And I'm like, you know what? Let me go ahead and just make this video really quick. I got a sick kid out in the, out in the um, living room. So, I got to get back to that. But uh, anything else pops off, guys, I'll I'll be making a video. I'll upload it for you guys. We're keeping an eye on Michael. Um, also, I've noticed I've gotten a few new subs over here. Welcome to the channel. I appreciate uh, you guys stopping by and subbing. We, we talk not only about politics over here, but also world events. You know, Syria. What's going on with Syria and Russia? Uh, Israel, you know, that whole area over there. Is, we all know it's been a boiling pot for quite some time. And, it, and it's just getting worse. Um, you know, Turkey's moving convoys over into the northern part of Syria, you know, to make a de-escalation zone because once this, uh, once, you know, this, um, I'm sorry, I just had a brain fart. Um, once this move that Syria and Russia is about to make into a lib, you know, there's going to be a major flux of Syrian refugees trying to get into Turkey and Turkey don't want that. So they're over there, you know, making a de-escalation zone for all the refugees to stop them from crossing the border. Um, but also, 
Turkey's been seen to be bringing a lot of heavy equipment into the area. We're talking tanks and all this. And then Russia brought in the S-300 system and Benjamin Nat Natananyu, he sat over there and claimed that if Russia was to ever bring those, that system in, that Israel would bow to take it out. So again, guys, there's a lot, a lot of stuff going on in the Middle East that even mainstream media is not talking about. Um, we all know mainstream media start making it public to you guys only when America gets involved. But there's a lot of things that's going on that could actually really quickly get America involved. Uh, America's actually already involved, but, you know, we're pretty much the, sh the shadow puppets. Um, you know, we got our puppet masters, or we're the puppet masters, and we got our puppets on the ground over there. So, again, guys, there's a lot going on. We could talk about all sorts of stuff here. Um, again, I appreciate you guys subbing. I appreciate you guys checking out my videos. Please like, share, um, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Later.